Hello friends, welcome to MSFT webcast and in this video we are going to see how to save FSMO roles in Windows Office System R2. So probably you ask yourself why should I need to use these options? See, when we have a options to transfer FSMO roles, why I should use uh, seizing options? You are right, by transferring FSMO roles is not always possible. What if your primary domain controller which held one or more FSMO rules is broken and cannot be repaired even if you don't need any of them at this moment but they need to be in your network for sure. So for this demonstration I have a Windows Server 2012 R domain controller in our domain that is mylab.local we have a two domain controller one is a 2k3 fn dc01 and second one is a 2k12 r2 dc02 let's check currently which of these domain controller hold the fsmo roles so to check that let's run command net dom query fsmo okay so as you are seeing uh, all those five roles schema master domain naming master pdc rid and infra all those five roles is currently assigned to 2k3 fn dc01 and in this demonstration we just want to see all those five fsmo rules from dc01 and want to assign to 2k12 r2 dc02 so let's do that for this uh, we have to use nds util then type rules and then select connections connect to server select the server where you want to seize the fsmo rules and want to assign to that server so for this we have to assign these rules to dc02 that's why i just type connect to server to get all r2 hyphen dc02 okay and type quit take help so now we have options seize infrastructure master okay and paste it Hit enter. Let's ask you, are you sure you want to uh, server 2k12 r2 happen dc02 to seize the infrastructure role with this value below? See, seizing FSMO rules is not a graceful process and it is intended only to be performed when the unexpected occurs. So click on yes, yes, I want to seize. Now, yeah, see, you are seeing adapting safe transfer of uh, infrastructure FSMO before seizes. So every time when you run command seize, it will take some time to complete. So initially it will try for attempting safe transfer and if that is not possible then it will go for the seizure. See one more thing uh, I just forget to mention is that uh, to seize the schema master or domain naming master you must be log on in with the schema admin or enterprise admin permission and in order to seize the RID master PD simulator or infrastructure master you will need to be log on as a domain admin so make sure that you have this uh, permission to perform the task so once this is a complete for infrastructure master let's go ahead for seizing the naming master and uh, then do the same process for all other three roles you can yes so do the same process for uh, seize PDC, seize RID master and seize schema master. So if you are seizing the RID master or schema master, you must ensure that the domain controller holding either of these those roles is never brought back on the network without being forcefully demoted or areas. So I recommend that you immediately perform a metadata cleanup of the domain controller in uh, question once the role is transferred. Okay, so once you perform the seizing for all those five roles. Now, let's check who is currently FSMO holders. Okay, so as you are seeing, we just seize the all five FSMO roles to duplicated R2 hyphen DC02. So that's it for this video demonstration. In the next video demonstration, we will see how to perform Martin Tech cleanup.